You know that I am open to feedback. Whether a person is wrong or right, I am willing to a certain extent have my ears open to what a person is saying. I was told that I speak too much about demons. Kevin, the enemy is defeated, so you should not speak about demons. Okay. But why are so many people being attacked by demons then? So you want me to stop telling people how to defeat demons because you believe that there are people sometimes I speak with my niece, my mom, my dad, and other people who serve God. Who serve God. And even at my church, there is a woman there. She is pretty young. Maybe not young anymore. I believe she may be 18 now. I don't know. But she is able to see angels. I believe that she can see demons as well. I have been contacting people by email, phone, Facebook, so many platforms. In some way or form, each person is having some type of trouble with demons but you are telling me not to speak about demons the main problem that people are having what comes to my mind and i am not saying anything evil about this person but what comes to my mind is that this person Let me not say that. God, please forgive me. Something is not right. What else did this person say to me? There were some other things that person said to me. You have to be careful of the people that you speak to. I know that mistakes are going to happen. People are going... We all don't know everything. So it is easy for me to make a mistake, for you to make a mistake, or this other person to make a mistake. As I stated in other videos, people go through some traumatizing things. So their personality, I guess you can say, gets in their way in their relationship with God. So we can't take offense or anything like that toward people who are reacting toward their hurt or reacting out to people and their hurt. Let me say this. I am pretty sure that many of us have been around kids. You know, my nieces have kids and stuff like that. Now, 
if a kid does something wrong, yes, you may get a tad bit angry, but you are not going to be offended for a very long time. Why? Because it is a kid. There is only so much that that kid knows. But as a kid grows up, you expect that kid, hey, like you can't continue doing or saying the same things as you were back when you were younger. I expect you to grow much more. There are people and I am not speaking evil or anything bad about people. I am just telling you how things are. There are people, even if they are 18, in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, some people, I believe that we all grow at a certain rate. And I believe that because of certain things that happens to us, I believe that some people can move on. Some people takes a while to move on. Some people just choose to not move on. I believe that we all have gone through some hurt or some pain. Some people are not willing to move on. I know for myself, back when I was in sin, I was not willing to move on. I wanted to hold on to my hate, to my dislike of people. I wanted to not forgive my enemies. I wanted to hate people and be rude and angry and stuff like that. Satan is defeated. Yet, yet, people are still having problems with demons. So when I hear a person say that you should not speak about demons or they may say that they don't have problems with demons, something is not right. So many people, or quite a bit of people, not only on YouTube, but, yes, not only on YouTube, sometimes Facebook, I don't really get on Facebook now because junk. But people contact me because of demonic things. What this person said to me too, I may have to look at the email again, but this person was saying that Jesus did not have problems with demons. Jesus was getting persecuted. Jesus and the disciples, something about Jesus was only getting persecuted by demons. I mean, by people, not demons. And I am thinking, you are saying that Jesus was getting persecuted by people, but not demons. What do you believe were influencing those people to persecute Jesus? What do you believe were in the disciples, I mean, in the people that were persecuting the disciples? Demons. I was told to repent of my sins, but because perhaps I am leading or what I teach it's leading people down the wrong path. From what I was told from this person, me speaking about demons 
is giving praise to demons. So telling you how to fight against demons, telling you to have faith in God and cast out the demons is giving praise to demons. Something is not right with that statement. So I am giving praise to demons by telling you how to cast them out, how to pray against demons, but I speak about demons too much. But many people are having problems with demons. Many people, people are contacting me telling me, Kevin, I can't stop doing this. I can't stop doing that. Demons, that is demons. And this person was just going down the line, telling me how I was wrong and things like that. And like I said, there is a possibility. So when someone emails me or say that I am doing wrong, chances are I may go through it unless I find out that you are just an evil person, then no, I am not going to read it. But I give people a chance and I was going through what this person sent me I can understand this person's point. But it is not right. And I was thinking, maybe I should send this person an email back and try to explain things out. But how the email was written, I could discern that there is no way this person is going to receive what I say. So, I thought about it. Maybe let me just speak lightly about it in this video here. I don't really know much about the person and I would like to think that this person is not evil because I don't truly know. But what came to my mind, I pray that God touches that person's heart and speak to that person. I pray that. And what came to my mind as well when I was reading the email I could discern too that, and I could be wrong about this, I can be wrong about this, but what was coming to me is that this person was angry, not so much about me, about something that is happening in this person's life. And I was getting the backlash of it. Which is, you know, whatever. Sometimes people contact me and call me different types of names and stuff like that. Whatever. But I could feel like the mood of the whole email. And I could sense that this person is having problems. We all have problems, but it is not that. We all have problems, but we all don't treat people in a certain way or speak to, to people in a certain way when we are going through something. There is this person I know, and this person's mood changes 
so quickly. And I never know when this person is going to be in the right mood. So, <laughs> when this person asks for help, I am going to help that person out, but mainly what I do for this person or with this person, I mainly let that person speak and not really say anything because even if I were, let's say that this person asked me something about him, him or her or about something that pertains to that person. If I say anything that sounds a tiny bit like I disapprove, there is going to be a problem. So sometimes I give or I don't like to answer or I change the subject or something like that. We just have to be careful and we have to show people love at all times because even if you serve God, even if you are doing things right, at one time you were in sin as well. At one time you were doing bad things too. At one time you hurt many people too. So shouldn't we have patience, compassion, and understanding for people? I think so. Why not? If we show people mercy, isn't God going to show us mercy? If we show people compassion and empathy, isn't God going to do the same for us as well? Yes. So I don't hate this person. I don't despise this person. I love that person. Even if that person believes that I am teaching wrong, that I am doing the wrong thing. And this person questioned me if I should have this YouTube channel. Is it God's will for you to have this YouTube channel in so many words? <laughs> Is it God's will? Should you be teaching on YouTube? Okay. We have to show love. I forgive her and I pray that she forgives me for anything she thinks I have done wrong or anything like that. I am sorry. Now, I don't agree with what this person is saying about me, but... I am sorry anyway. Please forgive me. I forgive you. And I love you. God bless you.